Hi everyone and welcome to my next video tutorial which is going to be focused on integrating a Redis cache backend for Django. So let's go on ahead and get started. So the first thing you need to have up and running is just a simple Django project to which you want to apply this to. As you can see I have a very basic one here up and running. Then we can go ahead and install the Django Redis library. So I'll go ahead and copy that. Let's go to our project and we can just say pip install Django Redis. So that's going to install the Python package that lets Django talk to Redis itself. Okay, so it will just take a moment and there we go. Right, the next thing that we're going to do is provision a Redis instance and we can do this easily with Railway. So Railway is a platform as a service provider, very similar to render, you could say. So all you need to do is head on over to railway.com. And then the next thing that we're going to do is scroll down and say, deploy a new project. Then that's going to give us a few options. So I'm just going to zoom out here a bit. And as you can see, it doesn't say directly. So we need to go ahead and type it out. So we can just say Redis. So usually it will show the Redis option. That's why I'm zooming out. But if it doesn't, you can just type in Redis and select the Redis option here. That's going to provision a Redis database for you. So it's just going to take a moment. So as you can see here, Railway tells us that this is a temporary project and it will be delivered in 24 hours. Now you would need to go ahead and claim it. Now that of course is going to prompt you to go on ahead and set up everything formally on Redis itself where you'll set up your account and of course put a credit card on file. So do keep that in mind here. That will be the next steps that will probably um, be in process when you face it. Okay, so as you can see now, Redis is successful here in terms of the deployment. So what we can do now is go on ahead and head on over to variables. And if you scroll down here, you can see all of the information here that pertains to this Redis database instance. So for example, we can see the password, public URL, Redis URL, Redis host, um, password, etc. Now what we need is this Redis public URL here. So what I'm going to do is just zoom in and here we can see it. So we're going to need to set up this URL in our Django settings.py file. So we can go to our Django project, head on over to settings.py. And the next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to configure now the cache backend. So we can go ahead and scroll down. I'm just going to go all the way to the bottom here. And I'll just zoom out a tad bit. And here I'm just going to specify a comment to say cache backend. Then I'm going to say caches equals and opening and closing curly brace. And then I want to set my default cache here. So I'll put in double quotes default, colon, and then I'll open my uh, curly braces here again. Okay, and then what we want to do is we want to specify the back end. So we can just say back, uh, back end to make sure it's in caps. And then we want to tell Django to use Redis as the caching system. So we're going to say Django underscore Redis dot cache dot redis cache okay right the next thing we need to do is specify the location this is going to be the full address of our redis server you could say or a database instance so we can go ahead and say location colon and then here in quotes what we can do is go ahead and copy that public url here that we provisioned from railway so you can go ahead and just say copy value and paste that in here within the quotes, just as is. All right, so there we have that set. The next thing we need to do is define the options. So we can just say options, and this is going to have a curly brace set in with it, because we can configure a lot of things. Now the base thing that we need to specify is the client class. So we can say client class, 
Okay, and this handles how Django connects to Redis and we want to use the default client. So we're going to say Django underscore Redis dot client dot default client. Okay, so default client is the best option. It's quite efficient and it manages the connection pooling well. And you just want to add in a comma at the end there. All right, so that is the base minimum that you need to set up your Redis backend here. So all I'm going to do now is just uh, go ahead and minimize spacing. So if you want to see the full code, so this is what we have, I'll just make everything a bit more concise here. So there is the cache backend that we need. Okay, so that's what you need to ensure that you have into place. And the next thing we can do is test the caching in the Django shell. So make sure that you have all of this set up. All right, so let's continue. So let's go to the shell. So to enter the shell, we can say python manage.py shell. And you'll see that it's going to have these three dashes here. So we're good to continue. And the first thing we want to do is go on ahead and import the cache object that Django provides. So we can say from django.core.cache import cache. Okay, now cache is basically like a shortcut for talking to Redis without worrying about any raw commands. Then what we want to do is we want to store a value in Redis and to do so we need to refer to the cache and set the value. Now the first thing that we need to define is the key. So the key here I'm going to set as greeting. Then followed by that comma, you want to add in a value. So I'm just going to add in a sample value, which is going to be hello from Redis. And then we can also add in a timeout. This is optional. So the timeout here, I'm going to set as 60 seconds here. And essentially after 60 seconds, our Redis database is going to delete it automatically. Now, after I press enter here, I need to ensure that I retrieve the value from our Redis instance using the key of greeting. Now, remember you only have 60 seconds and then you won't be able to get a relevant value. So once you press enter and assuming that there are no issues, it's going to say true. Now I want to retrieve the value from Redis using the key. So I'm going to say print. And then I'm going to say within that, I'm going to say cache dot get and then I'm going to put in greeting and close that accordingly here with my brackets and press enter. And that's going to retrieve the value based on the key that I want to get here. And that's going to say hello from Redis, which was the associated value for the key of greeting. So that's to go on ahead and retrieve a value from Redis using a key. Okay. So that is how we can go on ahead and just do a simple test to prove that Django is indeed successfully connected to our Redis database on Railway itself. All right, so that's it guys, um, quite short and simple. The last thing I wanna do is show you how to exit the shell. You can just say exit and then opening and closing brackets or parentheses, and there you go. All right, so that is it. That's how we can set everything up. Now, of course, if you want your cache to um, go and live longer in terms of your database here, you can just go ahead and say claim project, and then there'll be f f future steps to set up and integrate into place. All right, guys, so that's it for this video tutorial. As always, thank you for the support, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.